how to record audio and music using Dolby On Sound recording app. The first thing you need to do is unlock your phone. Once you've done that, if you're using an Android smartphone, what you'll need to do is locate the Google Play Store application. If you're using iOS, you'll need to locate the App Store on your phone. Once you've found the application that's relevant to your mobile device, tap on it. I'm currently using Android, therefore I'm going to be tapping on the Google Play Store. As you can see, Google Play Store is right at the bottom for me here, and I'm just going to tap on it to open it. Once your Google Play Store or App Store has opened, what you'll need to do is tap on the search box. For me, it's right at the top here and then what you're going to search for is the following Dolby Space On. Once you've typed that in, hit the magnifying glass at the bottom right hand corner here to search. The Google Play Store or App Store will then search for the Dolby On application. As you can see, the Dolby On application is right at the top here. On Android, it's got 1 million plus downloads, 6,000 plus reviews, and it's by Dolby Laboratories Inc. To download and install this application, tap on the app. As you can see, on this device, I have already installed the Dolby On application, which allows you to record audio and music. And therefore, I will not need to download and install it. However, you will need to download and install it. Once you've completed downloading and installing the application, all you need to do is tap on Open to open the application up. The Dolby On application will then open and you're greeted with a little demo here, which you can skip, which I'm going to do so on the top right hand corner here. You'll then get a welcome message where you can sign up to get on the email VIP list. You can select Not Now or Sign Me Up. I'm going to select not now. You'll then be greeted with another message that says help us improve where they collect data to improve the Dolby On application. You can either opt in and say sure or you can opt out and select no thanks. I'm going to tap on no thanks. You're then greeted with another notification that says add a countdown, get a 3 2 1 countdown before recording begins, just turn countdown on in the settings tab. So you have that option if you want to do so. I'm just going to tap on got it for the time being. And now you have full control of the application. So as you can see by default it's already set to capture audio. You also have two other options. To the left you have the ability to record video in Dolby Sound and on the furthest to the right you have the option to live stream on Twitch. For today's video we're going to be solely dealing with the Dolby audio recorder here which is the middle application. So to record audio all you need to do is tap on the microphone icon here. So I'm just going to do that and then you're greeted with this notification that says allow Dolby On to record audio. You have three options while using the app, only this time or deny. I'm going to go with while using this app. So I'm just going to tap on that. This is a one time only thing. You'll only get this notification once just after installing the app and now you're ready to record. So just tap on the microphone icon here to begin recording. So I'm going to do so now and I'm just going to say web splaining. And that's all guys. And I'm going to tap on stop. And that was a very quick two second audio. And as you can see, Dolby On will then show you what exactly it adds. So as you can see, when you press stop, Dolby On adds noise reduction, dynamic EQ, stereo widening, compression, de-essing, volume maximization, normalization, and easy fades. Tap on got it. And there we go guys. If you look at the very top here, you can see that track one has been recorded and saved. It's five seconds long. To play this track, all you need to do is tap on the play symbol on the top right hand corner and the audio you just recorded with Dolby on will play. And now if you want to rename track one into something else, all you need to do is look to the bottom right hand corner here to the three horizontal dots, tap on them, and then you have the option to rename. So just tap on rename here and I'm going to call it simply Websplaining, which is my YouTube channel. Once you've done that, hit the check mark symbol and you have just renamed your first audio track. Once you've done renaming your audio track, all you need to do is go back here on the top left hand corner of the app to be taken back to the Dolby On home screen. If you would like to view all your audio recordings in the app, all you need to do is look to the bottom left hand corner here and tap on the little musical icon. As you can see, the web explaining track that we just recorded for this video is at the very top here and then below it you've got three audio tracks here provided by Dolby On which are example tracks. And that pretty much concludes the video of how to use Dolby On to record your audio, music, video and even live stream. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.